final climb of tomorrow's stage of the Tour de France. And this is the closest to the Tour de France has ever come to my front door, which I'm pretty excited about. So the stage has started in Morzine, in the Port de Soleil, kind of wound its way around rolling hills, avoiding most of the big climbs, and finishes off at Majeur Cote du Mille, which I believe is the first time the stage has ever finished at Cote du Mille. So this is the start of the climb now. It's a pretty long, leisurely climb at just under 20 kilometres. But an average gradient of only 4.1%. So, shouldn't be much of a challenge to the tour riders. And that's after a relatively easy day as well. So, I expect the breakaway to win today, or rather, tomorrow. So, as I say, the climb starts here in La Faye at about 570 metres and gradually winds its way up to the Altiport in Mejev which is at about 1,400 metres. So it's quite a big long climb, but never very steep. There are much more challenging ways I could have got up to Mejev from the valley floor, such as the Cote de Mancy, for example. But I decided to go up the main road this time, which is where I'm going now, and holding up all the traffic. You can tell the tour's coming through this way because they've resurfaced the road, which used to be terrible and now it's immaculate. Just entered San Chavez Laban, which is the end of the first bit of the climb. A bit of a Fox flat now as we traverse round from San Jose to Mejev, town itself. So after the briefest of encounters with San Gervais, the stage now winds its way along this long, gradual wooded section towards the chocolate box ski resort of Mejev. So again, it's a pretty good road surface, wide, should be pretty fast this section, before the final climb up to Cote de Mille again. Even though I don't expect much action on this section, it's still pretty popular with supporters, purely because there's loads of places to park camper vans. So, lots of people are parked up already, enjoying the wine, enjoying the views, and cheering me on, which is nice. Something doesn't happen very often. That's the long traverse round over. We hopped from the Contamine Valley in the, into the Val d'Arly and approaching the town of Majeb now.
So after that long section of relative flat, we're into some proper climbing now with this relatively steep ramp out of the town centre Majeb itself and up towards the Cote du Mill. I think it's around 8% for this kilometre. So nothing brutal, but one of the steeper kilometres of this climb. So I just rounded the first hairpin bend after that initial steep ramp out of the town of Majev. I expect that first section to be a good place to attack because it's the first real steep bit. The road surface is quite rough and heavy and it'll be narrow with fans on the road. But with seven or eight kilometers to go, still plenty of time to make an attack stick. There's guys on the inside that hairpin down there, probably one of the best spots to watch the race for tomorrow, I think. Just being on a hairpin, you get to see it twice. Pretty near the end, so... Should be plenty of attacks going on by the leaders. Another false flat here in the final kilometre or so before we approach the final steep ramp up to the finish line in this rather dramatic amphitheatre. I was hoping to be able to ride up through the finish line, but they won't let me, so this is it. This is my finish line. This is the Majeur Altiport at Cote du Mill, or nearly. Just another two or three hundred metres to go, and then I'm there. So here we have the finish line for tomorrow's stage of the Tour de France in the spectacular amphitheatre of Majeve Cote de Mille. I believe the Tour's only ever finished up here once before in 2016 with a time trial. Although the Dauphiné has come up here fairly recently as well. The Tour quite often passes through Majev down the valley bottom but never really comes up here because you can't get anywhere from here, it's a dead end. As far as Tour de France stages go, it's a pretty easy climb on what should be a pretty easy stage, but it should be good weather, I expect lots of spectators out as it's a easy place to access, lots of space on the road, so it should be good atmosphere. I fully expect the breakaway to get away early and stay away, so most of the action will probably happen at the front of the race. should be a relatively easy stage for the GC riders who will be saving themselves for the double ascent of the Col de Glibier on the following two days so good day for them to rest their legs and cruise along the peloton but yeah looking forward to tomorrow